Sometimes Rocket League can be a little bit of a difficult game to get down. I mean, there's just so many mechanics and buttons and players and balls. There's so many balls. Because Rocket League is just so hard, a lot of players, namely you, just don't know how to score properly. You just think, oh, I just gotta get a clean power shot and get it past the defender and score. No! Quite frankly, that's boring. And realistically, it's gonna take a lot of work for you to get good at that. And we don't wanna do that. We need shortcuts, surefire ways to score easily in this game, and make our opponents stay just a little bit worse. And that is the beauty of Rocket League. So, yeah, let's talk about the 7 unstoppable shots that are guaranteed to make your opponent want to instantly forfeit the game. But, before we get into it though, let's talk about our video's awesome sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. This is THE game you want to play right now. Now, if you guys haven't downloaded it yet, you have the ability to slay giant raid bosses with tons of different strategies and characters. Right now, my favorite part of the game is the awesome Doom Tower. It's basically a 120 floor prison filled with sick raid bosses and awesome challenges. To beat the bosses, you're gonna need some serious specialists on your team. The Scarab King is especially hard, and you have to figure out how to reduce his max HP if you want to beat him. Oh yeah, in this month, Raid just released an awesome new feature called Awakening. If you're good enough to take down the Iron Twins in the all new Iron Twins Fortress Dungeon, you'll get the ability to awaken your champions. This makes your champions mega overpowered, because you get to choose a powerful blessing that changes how they fight in battle. Raid has also just dropped a new super-powered legendary version of the fan-favorite champion, Death Knight. If you want to get your hands on him right now, all you gotta do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and October 27th to get him for free. You can use code DKRISES for a bunch of free items right now. And if you haven't played Raid before, click the link in the description or scan the QR code to get a bunch of unique bonuses worth $30, including a free champion, 200k silver, XP boost, and more. But act fast because rewards are only available for new players for 30 days only. Make sure to download Raid Shadow Legends right now for free. Thank you to Raid for sponsoring this video, but yeah, let's get back into it. Alright, now we'll start off with one of the more basic ways to score, the dribble bump. The dribble bump is quite a simple mechanic, requiring the user to only know how to roll the ball towards the net and bump the opponent. However, despite its simplicity, it is one of the most effective mechanics to use because of just how tilted your opponents can get. Now, you as the user must use this mechanic wisely. This is a very good strategy for 1v1 games because if you successfully bump the other player, there will be no one to defend the net and the ball will peacefully roll into the goal. However, in 2v2s and 3v3s, you might have a little bit more trouble with this one because there will usually be a teammate behind the victim of the bump triple who can easily clear it away. If you can get your teammates in on your strategy, this could help tremendously by going for the double bump triple. But if you're solo queuing, you really won't find much help out there. Now expanding off the dribble bump, we have a more advanced mechanic, the air dribble bump. This is arguably much more effective than the dribble bump, and the likelihood of you scoring off this mechanic makes it one of the best ways to score in Rocket League. I personally love using this mechanic because it's super useful, it's pretty flashy, and I love seeing the hope and joy slowly leave my opponent's eyes as they see me hurtling towards them in front of the ball. Now, the air dribble bump is really effective, and for most players, you don't even have to know how to actually air dribble. If you can at most pop the ball into the air and follow it up, you too can perform this mechanic. This is really effective at both lower ranks and higher ranks, and it equally tilts both. And you almost feel good about yourself for doing it, because it requires some skill to pull up. Now, if bumps aren't your style, maybe you prefer not hitting anything at all. The fake is one of the most elegant mechanics one could perform in this game. Falling for one of these hurts you physically, emotionally, and mentally. So being able to perform this effectively will cause you to have the emotional high ground on your opponent. Playing against a ball chaser in your ranked games? Go for a fake to send them flying in the other direction. Playing against a patient little kid who absolutely will not challenge the ball unless it's 2 inches from her face, just keep faking until it rolls into the net. This is a very versatile strategy to score, because when used correctly, it completely evaporates any self-respect the opponents once had and leaves them as worse people overall. And really, that's what makes Rocket League so great. 
Now this is a strategy that is arguably one of the most underrated ways to score in Rocket League. When used correctly, this is essentially a free goal for your team. You want to make sure that the player you're queued up with is actually smart enough to do this in the first place. I know a lot of you guys like pity queuing with your friend with three brain cells. Essentially, what this kickoff strategy consists of is a fake kickoff where the player attacking the ball fakes at the last second to go directly for a demo on the opposing player not going for kickoff. That leaves a 1v2 situation where your teammate can just boom the ball into the net. This is best used when you see that the other team has a player who's always cheating up on kickoff because it makes it much easier to demo them. Now here's where the smart teammate comes in play. If your teammate is just not able to hit the ball towards the net when it rolls towards them or they just don't understand how to demo someone in Rocket League, you most likely want to never speak to them again. Maybe try one of the other strategies on this list. However, if you do have a reliable teammate, this is one of the most overpowered 2v2 strats in the game that is almost certain to lead to a goal. Ah, uh, the AFK strat. One of my personal favorite strategies to score. This is one of the more riskier strategies to score on this list, but when pulled off, it is by far one of the most satisfying. Now, I know a lot of you guys might be skeptical right now. What? You're probably saying, my teammates go AFK all the time in rank and I don't win. Well, that's because they're not doing the strategy. See, the AFK strat actually takes a lot of finesse and timing to get down. What you want to do is hop into a game and then immediately go AFK. Okay, alright, now after the first goal, they're so confused and they'll have just no idea what to do. Now, okay, actually, yeah, the AFK strat works the best when you're two goals down. That That's when things really get going. I was actually kidding the whole time. I was lying. I was just joshing. Okay, what you actually want to do is play the game normally. And then after one minute, then you want to go AFK. Alright, alright, okay. Now, what, actually, what you want to do to successfully do this is, is you have to find someone that seems nice. You know, maybe they say nice shot after you score or something. If your opponent has any bit of good in their hearts and you go AFK, they will stop playing and wait for you to return. And we can take advantage of this. If you notice a nice opponent, go AFK after playing for some time and they will most likely stop playing. This is where you capitalize. Wait until you see the perfect opportunity to score and pounce. Try and what is save if possible as well. It, it really helps the method. Oh my God. It just works every time. The chat feature is one of the most underutilized features to score in Rocket League. Everyone is out here trying to practice shooting, flip presets, yada yada yada, but you guys neglect to train one of the biggest parts of your gameplay, your chat ability. I mean, it's right there. If you're able to use it in game, you can use it to score. Now for this strategy, we have to distract our opponents. To do this, my method of approach is to start out very nice. Try and build a rapport with your opponent. Maybe compliment their saves or their shots. If they don't respond, that's okay. Keep trying. Once you've successfully built up a good relationship, this is where the manipulation begins. Ask a deep question, and maybe even stop playing yourself to type this question. It could be anything at all, but make sure the opponent has to type for a while to respond. Once you see that car stop, attack. This is what you have trained for. Sometimes you have to let go of your morality in Rocket League. The best way to win is to make sure you win at all costs. It doesn't matter if you make everyone in the lobby hate you if you want, because that's MMR that you gained and they didn't. At some point, every Rocket League player must realize that morality is what is stopping you from ranking up. So do it. Type in chat. Win at all costs. Are you kidding? The final shot is DDoS your opponent. Okay, if all else fails, you know what you have to do. Your opponent simply does not deserve to win. You are clearly better than them, so why let a simple Rocket League game tell you otherwise? You're better than that, and you don't have to be bound by the confines of Rocket League. Why bother letting something as puny as a scoreboard tell you that you're losing the game? You don't have to lose. So take matters into your own hands and disconnect your opponent from the server. Win at all costs, no matter what. This is by far the most effective method to score in Rocket League, but, you know, if you don't want to get put on a watch list,
You should probably just do the other six shots, but uh, yeah. Oh, also, one more thing. 